breaking news, new details in the deadly mass shooting at a Lunar New Year celebration in California. Police now confirm the shooter, 72-year-old Hu Chan who can Tron died from a self-inflicted gunshot wound during a standoff with police this afternoon. But what is still not known, why he carried out the attack that killed 10 people and injured 10 others. Carlos Granda from our Los Angeles sister station, KABC, has the very latest on the investigation. Carlos. Well, Joe and Sandra, as you said, we do now know who the suspect was, 72-year-old who can Tran, but that's really about it. We don't have any more information about him or about any kind of motive. Now, police do say that it was carnage. It was a horrible scene as he started shooting into a group of people who were just there to enjoy the evening. It started as a night of celebration for the Lunar New Year when the gunman opened fire. It happened at the Star Ballroom Dance Studio in the city of Monterey Park. The first officers in were from Monterey Park Police. Inside, they came across a scene that none of them had been prepared for. So there were injured people inside, there were dead people inside. I can confirm that there are no outstanding suspects from the mass shooting incident that occurred in the city of Monterey Park. The suspect identified as 72-year-old Hu Can Tran. After the first shooting, Tran went to a second dance studio, the Lai Lai Ballroom in Alhambra. Police said that that location, people fought the suspect and were able to take away his weapon. Sasha Renee Perez is the former mayor of Alhambra. The they attempted to apprehend the gunman and put their lives on the line. They saved potentially 10, 20 lives just by intervening. The suspect then got into a white van and took off. Authorities tracked that van down to the city of Torrance where there was a long standoff with SWAT. The person inside the vehicle never came out. When sheriffs moved in, he was dead of an apparent self-inflicted gunshot. And although uh, that closes a portion of a very long day for all of us, the investigation is still ongoing. Sheriff's homicide detectives are working around the clock, gathering additional information and working on determining the motive behind this extremely tragic event. And officials say the victims are all older folks, ages 50 to 70, some they believe even older than that, but they have not released any names as they notify their family members. Reporting live from Monterey Park, California, I'm Carlos Granda, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Back to you in New York. All right, Carlos, thank you. And the FBI and the L.A. County Sheriff's Office tonight briefed Senate Majority Leader Charles Schumer on the shooting. He says the Sheriff's Office told him a semi-automatic weapon was used, although it is not clear if it was an assault rifle. The Democrat renewed his call for better gun control laws. No one should just have to accept this as a normal part of life in this country. We passed the most significant gun safety legislation to increase some aspects of background checks this summer. It was bipartisan, but much more needs to be done. The senator also called on the FTC to investigate a company that's marketing a smaller AR-15 style rifle called a JR-15 to children who aren't even allowed to own guns. Uh,